Welcome to Learn Data with Mark. In this video, we're going to learn how to format numbers in Pandas data frames. So what we've got here is a Jupyter Notebook, and we're going to start by importing Pandas as PD. And once we've done that, we're going to create a data frame with a subset of the 2021 vaccination data from the UK. So you can see here, we've got a local authority name, we've got a population, and we've got a percentage of the people who are vaccinated. And what we'd like to do is format the population so that it's using a comma as the thousand separator, and we'd want to limit the vaccination percentage to just two decimal places. So one way we could do this is we could update the column itself with the new formatting. So we can use the map function, go over every entry in that column and convert it to the format that we like. And that works, right? Like we can see the format is correct. Uh, the side effect is that we now can't do any numeric calculations. So say we wanted to add in a new column to work out the number of people vaccinated based on the other two columns. We can't do that anymore. It's gonna throw an exception if we try to do that computation. So an alternative is that we can use the style.format um, function. And the first way we could use it is we could pass in just the one style, so pass in just uh, two decimal places, for example. Uh, but that, that assumes that all the columns are the same, which in this case is, is not true uh, because we have a string column. And so it's actually going to throw an exception when it encounters that uh, string uh, column. But even if it had worked, we don't really want the population to be to decimal places because we can't have a percentage of a person. Uh, but we, there is actually another way of using this function, which is that you pass in a dictionary where you specify the columns and then individual formats for each column. And so we can pass in the population and and use the comma format and then the vaccination rate and this time decimal places. Uh, for the local authority column, since we don't want to change the format, we can just ignore it and it will stay exactly as it is. Uh, and so that's the end of this video in which we've learned how to format numbers in Pandas data frames. If you found the video useful, don't forget to like it. Uh, and subscribe to the channel so you'll learn about future videos. And if you have any ideas for new things that we should cover in future videos, please let me know in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.